When I think back on my childhood and reminisce about the things that captured and held my imagination for more than eight seconds, there's a few that truly stand out. Transformers, Doctor Who, Star Wars, even Star Trek all stayed with me over the years in some capacity. But there's one franchise that's often overlooked in the overcrowded nostalgia of back in the day that, for a brief moment in time, created some of the coolest playtime memories for me. This is the Starcom Battle Crane. Because nothing says cool like a space forklift with guns. With the press of a button, this thing converted from a little construction crane to spider-walking, hovering delivery vehicle of death. Starcom was NASA's attempt to make the space program cool, using the tried-and-true method of the 80s, making a cartoon for kids to obsess over and sell some toys with. Sadly, I never got to watch the show as a kid, but I did have quite a few of these toys. Starcom was one of those toy lines that let imagination be part of the fun. Yeah, the toys were dorky. The play pattern was not the most exciting, but it could be because of one amazing piece of technology. Magnets. The little guys that came with every Starcom toy had magnets in their feet, and there were magnets on all the vehicles. And I don't know if you knew this, dear viewer, but a lot of things in your house are magnetic. I stuck these things to everything. Suddenly, there were whole new worlds to explore. Doorknobs, refrigerators, hinges, the metal bolts that attach the legs on our coffee table. One time, I stuck a guy to the chimney of our wood stove and forgot about him for months. When he was rediscovered, suddenly I had a whole new exciting adventure to play out, rescuing him before winter when my evil parents would surely have lit the stove and melted him into a plastic blob. Starcom came at a time when the market was just completely oversaturated with options. But that doesn't mean it wasn't great for what it was. Having not seen the cartoon, I made up so many adventures with these little guys. Sadly, this battle crane is all I have left. But honestly, I love messing around with it still, because it reminds me of so many good times, exploring the world around me, and that alone makes me happy.